Thank you everyone for coming into uh, this virtual room here. I'm on the other side of the country in sunny California right now, um, Santa Cruz area. And uh, what I wanna show you today is um, primarily the pick and pack feature that we have in Tandon. We're just releasing this feature um, right now. It's out, you can use it if you're a Tend user or if you sign up for Tend. Um, and we'll be adding a little bit more to it over time. And so I'll talk a little bit about that, but primarily I just wanna help you understand what this feature is and, and what it does. Um, we're really excited uh, to have released it because there's not really anything else like it, um, a complete pick and pack solution for specifically for diversified farms. So um, I'm not going to go too much into Tend and how all of Tend works because we're, we're short on time, but um, we'll get a little bit into that today as well. Um, so the, the big picture of what we're gonna look at is this pick and pack feature, um, which helps you manage your pick and pack workflow, you know, what you need to pick and how you can assign that to your crew and what you need to pack. And that might be for um, particular farmer's markets you've planned to harvest for or CSA um, or orders that come in. And those orders would come from the online store, which you can set up in Tend. Um, and we've also built out a uh, Shopify integration. So if you have a Shopify store, you can link that to your Tend account and push your inventory and prices to Shopify and have the orders sync back to Tend. So we'll get into that a little bit. Um, so to kick it off here, I'm just going to give you uh, a high level picture of what a basic um, pick list looks like. We'll look at a, a couple of different pick lists today, but this one will get you oriented. Um, so this is a, a pick list here, and you can see I've got various items. I've got um, basil in bunches or basil in, in pounds. I've got some hot peppers. I've got mint, scallions. So these are all items that I have in my catalog, and they do link to the crop plan as well, which I'll show you um, in a moment here. Um, but really, why would you create a list like this? Well, you got to send your crew out to harvest something. And so this is a way for you to generate a list. Um, it's connected to your crop plan already if you're using Tend. And then this is going to create a list of tasks for your crew to go, you know, check off. Um, so I've put in um, produce that uh, I want to harvest 10 bunches of basil, um, all ripe for my hot peppers, because that's how I harvest my peppers. I want to go um, pick everything that's ready to go. Um, we'll just We'll just imagine we're going to go harvest these two uh, for this demo. Um, so this is our, our planning screen. And if I click over to pick here, uh, it actually shows, uh, I already completed this one, but um, two tasks that have been created. Um, and uh, your, your farm uh, crew can access this on the mobile app um, if they have 10, or you can print this page out as well. Um, I don't know if you can see my modal here. The, are you, can you see the print modal or is it? Yeah, we can see it. Okay, cool. Nice. Um, and then, you know, I, I do want to click in to this particular task because there's actually a lot layered in and built in here um, because you're using 10 and it's one complete system. Um, there's actually a lot going on with this particular basil harvest task. Uh, you can assign it up here to a crew member, um, maybe to Benjamin. Uh, when Ben goes out to harvest, he can mark down that it took him 45 minutes to uh, harvest, uh, 45 hours, hopefully not, we'll say one hour. Um, and I can provide pick instructions to Ben, so make sure to avoid any black spots. So he would see that on the task. Um, and then when he's, uh, once he's gone to pick the basil and he brings back in, uh, he can mark down and track a yield for this particular crop, either at the crop level, which is basil, or at the variety level. Um, so if in, in the 10 system, Ben has a couple of different types of basil, aroma and sweet thai. And so if he went and was tasked with harvesting 10 bunches, uh, maybe he went and got five aroma and five sweet thai. And um, once he completes this task, uh, that actually becomes a record in the system. So he has yield records um, combined with the pick list that was auto automatically, or not automatically, I mean, with the pick list that you created um, as a farm manager, for example. So um, that's a, that's a kind of high level view of what the pick lists do, but I want to show you um, 
that there's a, even a little more power behind it. So um, all the items that we are looking at in the pick list are in your catalog. And so these are catalog items that you create to sell online. And I wanna drill into Basil to show you how this works. So let's say you sell to your customer Basil, um, but in your crop plan intend, you actually grow a couple of different varieties. You could apply this model if you think about heirloom tomatoes too. Like maybe you grow five or 10 different varieties of heirloom tomatoes, but when you go to the farmer's market, you just sell heirloom tomatoes uh, under that one umbrella. So the, the tend catalog here allows you to create, you know, one basil product that you're selling, but you can kind of manage the nitty gritty of what particularly you're growing in your crop plan through um, these varieties here. So in our case, this farm is growing sweet thai and aroma um, basil. And so um, when they get an order in for basil and they go into the pick and pack list, as we saw already, I could actually split this out by the varieties that I have in my crop plan of this crop. Um, so as we designed this and built it, we wanted to make it flexible so that you can sell to your customers in the way that you sell and also keep really detailed records on the growing side um, for your operation. Um, so that's a little bit about what the catalog is and, and these items that are going into the pick and pack list. Um, and then I want to show you online stores. I know we're running short on time, but basically, as I, as I said, um, you can sell online to Shopify. Uh, or through your Shopify store or through a Tend online store, which looks something like uh, this here, online store to sell your produce. And when a customer orders something from your online store, it's actually gonna flow into a pick and pack list that's uh, automatically been generated for that order. And so what we're looking at on this screen is a pick and pack list. Um, I want you to look at the orders column and you can see there was one order here this was an order that actually came in uh, to my online store. Um, and then simultaneously, as I'm planning to harvest for that one order that came in, I can also plan to harvest for the Cabrillo farmer's market, my downtown farmer's market, or for my west side farmer's market. So this planning screen allows you to plan what you wanna harvest for your farmer's markets, CSA, and the orders that have come in through your online store um, in one single workflow. And so just to look at the hot peppers example, I might reserve for my farmer's markets, you know, based on last week's sales, 20 pounds, 40 pounds and 40 pounds, plus the order that came in, that shows me I need to harvest 101. Um, but I, I know that I've already got 40 pounds in storage. So that's subtracted from the total I need to harvest to show me 61 pounds to pick. And so you could imagine going through that for everything that you wanna harvest around a particular pack date. Um, and so from there, if we go to the, um, uh, the next phase here, which is the pick screen, we can see everything that we need to pick uh, for this um, particular um, pick, and, pick and pack day. Uh, so looking at the hot peppers here again, um, I can track yields uh, after my crew harvest by crop or variety if I want. And you don't have to track yields. This is just a, an option in 10. Um, and you can also direct your crew um, to which plantings they should go harvest from. So I actually don't have this set up in this demo account, but you could imagine if in your crop plan, you've got six or seven different um, pepper plantings, those would all show up in a list here. And you could say, okay, I know I want my crew to go harvest peppers from um, you know, field one and field two and select those plantings. And uh, once you do that, they're gonna show up in this pick from column. And so your crew member uh, can either look at a sheet that you've printed out with all this information on it, um, or they can pull up the mobile app and all of this information will be there and they can see where they need to harvest from, how much they need to pick, and then any pick instruction uh, that you added for that. And as soon as they mark this task as complete, um, it will become a, uh, a record in the system, which I just clicked over to the records tab here. We've got, um, this is kind of a repository of all, all the records you keep, all the activity you do intend, which can be handy for, um, you know, this time of year, especially when you're doing your crop planning, like taking a look at what happened last year, or if you're doing organic certification, uh, you can look back through all your records, you know, you know, what seed did I use? When did I plant? Where did I plant it? 
how much did I yield? Uh, what, what did I fertilize with, um, et cetera? Um, so that's where the completed tasks would show up for you. And then um, on the pack screen here, once the pick is complete, uh, you can view market by market or customer by customer what exactly you need to pack. And so again, this is based on what we planned here in the plan tab. Um, we reserved a certain amount for farmers markets and then this order that came in through the online store. So whoever is doing your pack, um, can, they can pull this up like on a computer or an iPad or a phone. But they can see for each of those markets what exactly they need um, to pack. And this last one here is the uh, that one, one order of, of uh, one pound of peppers for the online order. Um, and again, you can print this list as well if you want. This is a, a little bit of a different view. So you can see by crop and then each market you need to pack for in columns. So you get a consolidated view of everything that you need to pack out uh, for, a, for a particular um, pick and pack day. And I know that sometimes you pick on a different day than you pack. And um, these pick and pack lists are orient oriented around the pack date but you can, uh, you can click into a, uh, a pick task and change the date of it. If you wanted, for example, to get your basil the day before, you can make that change. So, so your crew can know, all right, like, you know, it's Thursday the 7th, let me go get the basil. And then on Friday the 8th, I'll go out and get the mint or whatever it is. I know that's a little bit um, of a, not a real case, but uh, I hope it paints the picture for you. Um, so that's, that's kind of a high level of how our pick and pack feature works. Um, so again, you can create pick and pack workflows that allow you to assign tasks to your crew for the harvest. And when they complete those tasks, um, you can automatically track yields for a crop. And you can see that in um, the report section, which I didn't show you, but um, um, it's a great way to keep yields and just streamline everything into a single system and have it connected back to your crop plan. So you can kind of have A to Z um, record keeping for your, for your farm. So I know we're about at time here. That was a bit of a speed session, but does anyone have any questions um, that they'd like to ask now? And we can certainly follow up on an email exchange as well after today. I'll just show you. If you don't mind sticking around for a couple of minutes, feel free to go over time a little bit if, uh, if folks have questions. Yeah, definitely. I'm happy to. Um, yeah, and we've got uh, a discount code. So this is a 20% off for an annual subscription for TEND. Um, and if you have any questions, you can reach us. Uh, easy to remember, it's hello at tend.com. Robert, thank you very much. Thanks, everyone. Have a great conference out there.